Hi everyone, my name is Mark Mullikins from Big Mount Studio, and today we're going to talk about the alpha property. Alpha property is a fun property. I'm going to show you a bunch of different things that you can do with it. First of all, the alpha property controls the transparency of a UI view. And I want to distinguish between alpha, which can control the transparency of a UI view, like, like so. I'm going to come in here and change this property. Now you notice it fades out the color, right? But what it's also doing is it's fading out and creating, making the, the text also transparent. Okay, I want to show you something else too. The alpha property, it doesn't just affect color, but I want to make sure you understand that the alpha property affects everything within its UI view. So a button is a UI view with text in it. And if we change that alpha property, the text will also start to fade out not just the color. There's no color on this, this button right now. If we give it a background color, let's say we make it orange, yeah. Um, and we want that to fade as well, but not fade the text. What we'll have to do is we'll have to change the color itself. And on the color, there's an opacity, which is also transparency, but it's only on the color level. So see, I can change this and that will fade and become more transparent, but the text in the button itself will stay, will st still remain um, opaque. Opaque basically means you can't see through it. That's something else I should also tell you about too. The opaque property and the alpha kind of go hand in hand. When the UI view renders everything on it at runtime, it, will, it can render it faster if you tell it that it's opaque. When alpha is one, that means that there's no transparency and it's opaque. But as soon as I start to, you know, change this below zero, then you should uncheck opaque. When it's, when opaque is checked, it will optimize the rendering and draw this without having to worry about rendering anything underneath it. For example, let's put another UI view on here. Okay. Now when this, UI view is on top of the button. Of course, you can't see it because it is opaque. But if I start to adjust the transparency here, you can the button will start to come through. And I want to uncheck this opaque because it's letting the, the renderer know that, hey, there's something behind it that you're going to have to render. If it was truly opaque and this was number one, then it doesn't have to worry about rendering anything behind it and it will render faster. Okay, that's just one tip about the alpha and the opaque property. If you can make it opaque, then your UI will render faster. But most of the time, phones are so fast these days that you might not even notice any degradation in performance. But if you start to have a lot of things going on on your UI view and you want to optimize it just a little bit, then that's a property that you can look into. All right, good. So another thing that's important to understand too is right now I can't click that button. And let's, let's actually have that button do something, just so we, we know that something is happening. Let's just have it, uh, let's just have it navigate to another view controller. All right, good. So when you click that button, it's gonna show another view controller. Now, if I take this UI view and I cover it up, it, I won't be able to click the button. And if I start to adjust the transparency, even though I can see the button, I still can't click on it. I can only click the button when the alpha is set to zero. You can click through objects when alpha is set to zero. That's uh, something important to remember. But as soon as it's not zero, you cannot click through it. Even here, the button looks, you know, fairly solid and available, but this alpha is, is greater than zero, so you cannot click on that button. Okay, there's something else I want to tell you about too. And let's take this UI view here and let's just give it a color just for demonstration purposes. Yeah, let's make it more opaque here. Okay, so this is opaque, so I'm going to keep that as opaque. When, and actually we're going to take this button, we're going to put it inside of this view. So see, you have this view here and then the button is inside of that view. Ah, let's change the color of the button now so it becomes so it becomes more clear here. All right, there we go. Okay, good. So you have a button inside of a UI view. As you can see here, I move the UI view around, the button goes with it. If I change the alpha property of this 
UI view, it's going to change the alpha property of everything, all of its subviews inside of it. So as you can see, as I start to adjust this, everything gets adjusted. But if I adjust the alpha property on just the button, just the button uh, becomes more transparent and nothing else. So that's another important thing to consider too. You can't adjust the alpha property of a parent view without affecting every, all of its subviews. Another thing I want to tell you about too is that the alpha property is animatable. You can animate the alpha property and that can get pretty fun. You can So a lot of people use it to fade something into view. For example, let's go to this UI view here and let's make it zero. And as you know, when I adjust this alpha property, it's going to adjust all of its subviews. So if I make this zero, it's going to look like everything is, is gone. It's going to make everything disappear. Now if I come to my view controller and say, let's get rid of this here. And let's animate this, this whole view. Let's animate the whole thing so it appears from invisible to totally visible. So I'm just going to say UI view dot animate with duration. Yeah, that's fine right here. So how long do you want it to take to come into view? Uh, we'll just say like half a second. And animations. Oh, you know what? I um, oh no, I can still do this. Okay, so the animation will be the view dot alpha and we'll make it one, just like that. Here, what's it saying? I think it wants a 0 0.1, or yeah, 0, 0 0.5 rather. And for animations, uh, do I need self in there? Oh, no, I just have to, uh, yeah, I can just do this. There. This is a code block. It just needs to know that this is a code block. And now it probably needs the self. Yeah, it needs the self in there. Okay. And let's just format this. There we go. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens. Okay, do you see that? Everything kind of uh, appeared into view. It was kind of fast, but let's let's change this uh, to a slower number. Let's change it to maybe like three seconds so you can get a better idea of what that looks like. There you go. See how that happened? It's nice and easy. Uh, kind of give you a soft feeling of everything appearing into view. So this is a really fun property that you can use to make things appear and disappear using animation. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all I have for the animation pro That's all I have for the alpha property. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you learned something and you enjoyed it. And consider subscribing. You'll see more videos like this. Right now I'm on the alpha property. And I will be going through the rest of the UI view properties here in subsequent videos. All right, thanks.